Our top story tonight, mourners in Crowley join people all across the country in holding vigils for the Uvalde victims. A candlelight prayer vigil was held tonight at the Acadia Parish Courthouse in Crowley. News 15's Ashley Hamilton was able to speak to residents mourning the death of the victims of the school shooting. Community members in Crowley came out to honor the 19 children and two teachers that were killed at the Rob Elementary School shooting. Prayers could be heard and were followed by a long moment of silence for the victims. It hurts me because they have parents that's hurting right now. Getting sad, you don't know where, where to go no more. The Crowley community came together to hold a candlelight visual to honor the Rob Elementary School shooting victims. With heavy hearts, organizer Chad Monceau says as a parent, he couldn't imagine the emptiness the Uvaldo community is going through. School is supposed to be a place for our kids to uh, be comfortable, feel safe. They shouldn't have to worry about uh, someone coming in there to to harm them. Late candles were seen to honor and remember the victims. Mancho says just 10 years ago, they were holding a visual for the Sandy Hook school shooting and says he felt it was important to bring the community together. Join hands and show each other some love and actually send some some prayers and some love over to those people in Texas and, and New York most recently also. Service leaders said prayers and read scriptures as people bowed their heads and wiped their tears. Crowley residents say they feel for the families that something has to be done to end school shootings. For the people that lost their kids, the trash, you don't see this, this happened too many times. You need to stop some sometime. We need more uh, officers at, at school. It'll pre prevent a lot of it before it happens. When you looked around, you could see people comforting one another. It hurt Monica Melbro to hear about the school shooting because children in her area are now scared to go to school. Time for the community to stand up now to get together to stop this violence from happening in schools and everywhere else. Tuesday's Texas massacre has reached the hearts of millions across the U.S. The visual tonight was a representation of that. And Crowley Ashley Hamilton, News 15. And here at News 15, we send our condolences to all the families of the victims of that mass shooting.